Attention passengers, we've now reached our destination. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a nice day. to go see the gorillas we saw some zebras mm -hmm. we did we've been seeing big old cows with some big old horns we did uh, we saw the crane which is the national bird i saw one walking amongst the people that thing was huge unfortunately i caught it at the last minute i couldn't catch it on camera but i think it's like tall it was kind of creepy mm -hmm. how tall it was Now we're just waiting on our lunch. Yeah. You ready to chow? All right, let's go. That's mashed uh, banana. go gorilla trekking tomorrow and obviously the gorilla trekking takes place in a forest so it's very cold it's freezing it's like fall football day mm, good tailgating weather yeah good tailgating weather no joke though like i'm pretty sure it's like 60 degrees probably so yeah. probably so you see we got on our jackets so and it's june in uganda how cool yeah so we are but gonna go cold. take up the tea and take up the dinner let's go We'll have a job. Peace. We made it. We made it. Yeah, it's a long journey, though. So thankful that we just had nothing planned but just to come. Off to see the gorillas. Off to see the gorillas. He doesn't know the song. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Gorilla track yeah. home. Ladies, humans, people, kids, children, boys, girls, children, infants, toddlers, newborns, intersects in the How y'all get here? I don't know, but we're here. We're here. And the hotel is literally oh. next to me. So, yeah. I recommend that. Next to Gorilla Lodge is where it's at. The Gorilla Lodge, you can see the Gorilla's Lodge. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you. So, we'll see y'all soon.
you have a good time? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting hot. You didn't see gorillas? You having a good time? Yeah, I want to see the room. Definitely. I come yeah, out here. It's got the grip, so. Yeah. We right. can't, I mean, the hiking is pretty, but we came for the gorillas, bro. Look at my shirt. Black Adventures, where you at? Right here. Going on adventures. As black people. All right. That's not going to be a good tagline, huh? We decided to self-tour because we knew that this would be the most economical way to see the gorillas. Trust me, we did the research. This is the best way to see this experience without breaking the bank. We have three steps. Number one, we went to get permits. They were $700 a person if you are a foreigner. Ooh, ooh. And if you are not a citizen of Uganda, you have to go through an agency in order to get your permit. And you can reach that agency at info at gogorillatracking.com. And all we had to do was provide our passports as well as let them know which sector we wanted to tour. We decided to tour the Rushaga sector. Number two is we booked our driver in car with Drive Uganda. The cool thing is there's a daily rate that includes the Land Cruiser, the meals for your driver, and the lodging for your driver. The only thing on top of that is gasoline. And you'll be in the car, you'll know when the gas is depleted and you have to refill and then you'll pay there. So that's pretty great. It keeps the cost very low. Shout out to our driver, Osbert. And for lodging, we decided to stay at the ooh, ooh. The Rushaga Gorilla Lodge. It worked out so nicely because it was super close to the gorilla tracking experience. I mean, literally like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was beautiful. We enjoyed it. They provided meals as well. So right now we're gorilla trekking and the experience has been amazing. Yeah, we have seen like maybe four or five gorillas, but they are more than that. probably more, yeah. They Way all, more than that. They all been within like... 10 to 15 feet of us. It's crazy. Really close, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. I can't wait to show you guys all yeah. the video again, but it, they're so big. Huge. And the babies are so cute. I don't know. And they're Little poop poops. -poops. It's been really fun. Gorilla tracking 101. <laughs> Wear some good shoes. Yeah. And don't step in mud. It's unavoidable. Mm -hmm. I got good shoes on, but the mud got me. Mm -hmm. It hasn't actually been difficult, but it's been like, you know, to find them. They're like clearing paths. So you mm -hmm. just gotta be agile. Exactly. So you gotta have like some balance. Much agility, for sure. Yeah. Balance and agility to be out here. But with the Holy Ghost hikers, we good. Amen. Peace. Peace. Okay, once we find them, we only spend an hour with them so we don't overwhelm them and so that they can rest. So now we are done and heading out. The experience has been wonderful. Yeah. Everybody did a really great job keeping us safe <laughs> and making sure we can find the gorillas and have a really great view. It's good, so this was fun. It was so much fun. It was like the adventure of like not knowing where they are. I literally felt like at some point it was like right behind my back while I was trying to videotape other ones. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they probably were, but you no, know. No, for sure, because that's where that big one was, where oh, I was, and you were like there. Right yeah. there. But you know, it was protected, it was covered. Covered by? My God, people. my trackers, people. <laughs> Certificates to see whether they are well written. Yeah. Yeah. If this enemy's taking me, please try to let me know so that I can rectify. I graduated, y'all. Hey. I never thought I would do this. I just want to make my mom and daddy proud. We have to take a little boat over to our hotel. It's lit. Where the boat's at? Not 
good job. We're on the boat on the way to our hotel room. My name is Cyrus and I run Paradise Eco Hub. Uh, it's a lodge and we are we operate on Itambila Island. We are a community based organization. So whatever we do, we help our communities. Staying with us means helping our communities. See you at the Eco Hub. Here's the room. It's a nest overlooking the lake. Thank you. Oh, a little seating area. Oh, it's nice. Wow. This will be pretty cool. As long as no animals come and eat us. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> we just woke up not too long ago from sleeping in our nest. Our nest with no door. It was relaxing. It was peaceful. <laughs> yeah, I should go late. Yeah. Even this way, I love like all of the flowers. Yeah, look at that. And just listen to nature. You hear birds chirping. So you hear it first thing in the morning. You hear it chirping. You hear some drumming. I actually recorded that. It's just so beautiful. Passengers, we've now reached our destination. We hope you enjoyed the flight and have a nice day.